Mon Wa is quite similar to Mon Go. But the main differences are that Mongols are Japanese comics, usually sold in the form of books and drawn entirely in black and white. While Mon Wa's are typically Korean comics meant to be read digitally, scrolling through chapters instead of flipping through a book and are often full of color, making for a unique experience. Interestingly, Monwas have been around since the 20th century, but the medium truly started to grow in popularity in the early 2000s with the widespread success of the internet. However, this was nothing compared to what was about to come in 2018 with the release of Solo Leveling. Overnight, it became a worldwide success, read by hundreds of millions of people and earning millions in revenue. Thanks to this, many other older manga gained immense popularity, turning this type of comics into a global phenomenon. It became so popular that people wanted to see these stories animated by their favorite Japanese studios, which might have sounded ridiculous at that time, but soon became a reality. At the start of 2020, Crunchyroll announced its collaboration with Webtoon, where they would fund the production of some of the most popular manhwas, such as Tower of God, God of High School and Noblesse. This was one of the biggest news in anime history. It was supposed to mark a new beginning in the industry, showcasing that Webtoons could be on the same level as mangas. It could have ushered in a new era, where we would see just as many manhwa adaptations as manga in a season. However, as they were released season by season, each adaptation was received worse than the previous one to the point where no one even thought about them and no one really cared about manhwa adaptations anymore. Suddenly, the hype died down and it felt like a wasted opportunity where some of the other bigger titles didn't even get a chance at an anime adaptation. However, that all changed in 2022 when A1 Pictures announced that they would adopt solo leveling, the most popular and highest rated manga by far. The trailer was insanely successful, gaining millions of views in just a few days. However, the massive hype around it also raised everyone's expectations tremendously. People eagerly waiting for it made it the most anticipated enemy of 2024. But when it dropped, it didn't meet expectations, turning into a controversial mess. But what happened? What could they have done so wrong that every single big adaptation received an insane amount of hate? Well, in this video, that's what I'm going to dissect. I will look back at what went wrong, what people didn't like, and why it didn't become as successful as expected. Starting with the first ever manhwa adaptation. Tower of God was probably the most popular manhwa at that time and was also the first one to be adapted. It had a pretty standard story, where there is a tower that summons chosen people called regulars with the promise of granting their deepest desires. Ter a young boy who was not chosen by the tower but opened its gate by himself, became a so-called irregular who wanted to climb the tower to find his good friend. The anime itself had a pretty rough start as a lot of people were very vocal about how much they didn't like the art style. It was unique, but people simply preferred how mainstream anime me looked, viewing Tower of God as low quality, which I personally never understood. I love the style, but I can agree that the directing and narrative flow could have been a lot better as it failed to capture the darker, more intricate elements of the webtoon. The first big element though that made people really hate it was its inconsistent pacing. Some scenes were too dragged out, while significant portions of the webtoon were rushed through, leaving out crucial details. This made it hard for people to understand what exactly was happening and what certain things meant. This combined with the shallow character development disappointed many viewers. I think it's also fair to mention that many people expected a much simpler story, which was not the case at all. You actually needed to think critically about the plot and keep track of many details. Also it was fairly obvious from the start that this is a really long story, which a lot of people just couldn't be bothered to commit to. However, while there were still a lot of people hating on it and dropping it quite early on, I'd say the majority of people enjoyed it or even loved it. The fact that season 2 is airing in July with a completely new art style suggests it was fairly successful. I mean, I read the manga after watching it and I never read, so it definitely wasn't bad. However, the next one was even more hyped up, getting the most views by far out of all three trailers, but was also a much bigger disappointment. The God of High School was the next anime to be adapted, and according to you guys, it was the biggest disappointment by far. While Tower of God was animated by a relatively unknown studio, The God of High School was animated by Moppo, a well-established studio with several well-known anime under its belt by that time already. The story revolves around a martial art tournament called The God of High School, where high school students from across Korea compete to be crowned the strongest fighter, and the tournament's winner is promised a wish. Initially, the anime received a lot of praise, everyone loved the first episode, the characters were basic but likable, the animation was super fluid, fielded fight scenes typically seen only one 
once at the end of a season in other anime, and it had a mysterious element that kept people interested. However, beyond its premise of a martial arts tournament with characters from different martial arts backgrounds, it completely failed to develop. It just didn't have a story at all. We see fighting, and fighting, and even more fighting, which looks absolutely insane, but that's it. While it was enjoyable at the start, people felt less and less motivated to focus on the story because they simply couldn't understand what was going on. Tower of God was considered rushed initially, adapting 78 chapters. However, the God of High School surpassed that, rushing through 112 chapters in 12 episodes. That doesn't even sound that bad if what they cut out was filler, but that was not the case at all. They skipped the important storylines, and mix up the order of certain events, making them pointless, and dragged out so many scenes that didn't matter at all. Personally, my main criticism is exactly that. I hated how we had to listen to the backstory of some random character for 10 minutes, just for them to get beaten in one. And we never saw them again. They tried to give a reason why we should care about certain fights, but it completely backfired because people just couldn't connect with those characters at all. This also came at the cost of the main characters not developing at all. We got some flashbacks about them, but nothing after that. The anime just kept introducing new characters on an episodic basis, making it super confusing and overwhelming. The only good part of the anime was the fights themselves. They used motion capture and film martial arts experts to capture something both unique and realistic. And the results were amazing. The animation is fluid and dynamic, capturing the fast pace and intense nature of martial arts battles, something I haven't seen replicated since. From the director's and animator's perspective, this was clearly a passion project, pushing the limit of what is possible, but even that had a limit for the viewers. After a certain number of fights, the focus shifted from martial arts to supernatural forces such as the Night-Tailed Guardian, God Incarnates, and plus to kill certain divine beings, which made the whole enemy an even bigger mess because no one understood anything about it. Like what powers they had, why they had them, how they could use them, nothing was explained, making the fight feels meaningless and shallow. However, the next manga somehow ended up with even worse adaptation that still doesn't make any sense. While most people think that the God of High School had the worst adaptation by far, in my opinion, Noblis was far worse. Even before Tower of God and the God of High School aired, most manga readers were praising Noblis, saying it was the best out of the three. However, I can guarantee you, no sane person watched it past episode 1. While the previous two had problems, they were still good enough to watch. They had something in them that was worth watching. Now with Noblis, it started with season 2. <laughs> yes, with season 2. The first episode was from chapter 91, and if you're wondering where the rest of the story is, it was all combined into a 30 minute long special. I wish I could give a reason for what the person working at Crunchyroll was thinking with any of these anime, but I genuinely don't know. They didn't just mess up every single manga adaptation, but also all the other ones that were part of Crunchyroll originals. Some of the worst adaptations that we know of were made thanks to them. For example, we had Gibiet, which was a slideshow, or Exxon, which was infamous for being made by a studio that never made an anime before. Not to mention High Guardian Spice, which was something else to say the least. But hey, at least it made a lot of money for a few tubers. Going back to Noblis, thanks to them skipping half of the anime, everything turned into a mess. We had no idea what a noble was, what made them different from a human. We had no idea why characters acted a certain way. We know nothing about them all because they skipped through the whole damn thing. I also have to point out that visually it was the weakest one by far. I feel like by this point, they already knew this was not going to end well. These are the three big manga adaptations by Crunchyroll in 2020, However, in 2022, Avon Pictures announced something a lot bigger. Solo Leveling is the most popular manga that even 4 years ago was the most popular. But it didn't receive an adaptation initially because it wasn't under webtoon like the other man was. However, in 2022, the announcement of its adaptation was massive. I knew it was popular, but not to this level. And a lot of people felt the same way. They had heard of it, but never read it. And all this hype surrounding it also raised the expectations tremendously. It had a pretty good start with a fairly standard story about the weakest hunter who slowly but surely leveled up alone while fighting all kind of monsters. While it was nothing unique, it was also not bad by any means. However, that is the biggest problem with the anime. People simply didn't expect the best manga to be 
not bad. They thought it would have an insanely good and unique story with great characters, but it was the exact opposite, something well executed but also really generic. While I liked it because I knew what to expect, I also understand why people felt disappointed by it. The enemy simply wasn't able to translate why people liked the Monvo, and it made it a lot more boring and dragged out than it should have been. It also doesn't help that outside of the fights, no other element was able to stand out. The world building is shallow, basically a replica of Forward with Isekai portals, the characters are one dimensional, the story takes itself way too seriously, which means that comedy is basically non existent. While solo leveling obviously did really well in its own category, and the enemy did some pretty good job translating that into beautiful fight scenes with solid voice acting and insanely good music, the biggest problem was that the people hyping it up made the manga out to be something that it isn't. Overall, manga adaptations have been quite tragic to say the least, with none of them really doing justice to the manga, however I don't think this is the end of it. There are quite a few other smaller adaptations that did well, and I'm sure with time we will get some really good ones. Now if you want to see me talk about one of them in a bit more detail, click on this video. Also don't forget to like and sub. Please 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 please